Hello everybody, I'm Bets Golden here with Renea Foil Paper today. I am super excited to share with you something that I've been doing for a while and I wanted to pass it on to you and that is how to use intricate, delicate dyes with your Renea Foil Paper. A lot of people don't think that you can in fear that the paper will tear. However, I prefer to use my foil paper with my die cuts than regular cardstock, especially my intricate die cuts. I'm going to be using three different dies to get day. Um, two sets are from Cherry Lynn Design, and this will be the first one I work with. And then I have another set that I'm working with from Tonic Studios. So let me show you, this is a rather intricate intricate die. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to be using the Jade Rhenia foil paper. And what you want to do is you want to double it over because it makes it just easier to come out of your die when you have it doubled over. Plus, if you don't want to separate it out, you will have this security. It's a little bit more, more stability to it. It's a thicker and it holds. You don't have to use any kind of adhesive if you just don't want to separate out the dies. And then you just simply place your die on top of your foil paper and you sandwich it between like so. And I like to run it through one way this way. And then I like to run it right on back through this way. And it looks like I need to go one more time. A lot of times when you have to do it more than once, it really doesn't have anything to do with the, the paper. It's more has to do with the die. And this is the first time I'm using this beautiful die by Cherry Lynn Designs. So I'm just gonna put it through one more time same way and then back through and did you notice how it held its shape real nice when I checked sometimes with cardstock it won't do that okay so from here we're just going to remove this from our machine and it came up really really nice which is good because I do have another trick to get these little things out of here I'll show that to you in a moment but now what we're left with is this gorgeous, delicate die. And if you wanna leave it together like so, you can, or you can go ahead and pull it apart. You need to have a little bit of patience when you're trying to find a spot to pull it apart because like I said, it is attached very well and it won't come apart without a little bit of maneuvering. And since it is a double-sided foil paper, meaning one side is the beautiful jade, the other side is gold. So in essence, you have two very pretty dies ready to go on any of your projects. You have one in gold and one in jade or both in gold. So let me show you another one using the tonic um, die. This was by this one was by Cherry Lane Designs, and it was the Dusty Miller Square. But to clean out the little pieces, or if they get stuck, you just need one of these brush rollers and a sponge type applicator, um, and they usually come together. This foam type sponge pad, and this. This is by Sizzix. I think you can find it for like seven bucks. And I will have links provided down below of what I'm using for this. So this one, I'm going to be using this beautiful lavender. And again, I'm going to fold it over. And so I really, you know, I get double the amount for half the work. And then this die is one of my very favorites. It is Wings and Things. It is the, um, it's this set from Tonic and it's called just Wings and Things. And you can put 
you know, something down here, a fairy or something to give it some wings. It's so pretty. All right, and then once again, we're just gonna run it on through. Not once. Run it back and then just for, just to play it on the safe side, we'll run it right back through again. Look at those gorgeous wings. Oh, wow. So pretty. Look at that. And if the little centers just pop right out, if I need to use that little tool, I can. But they're just popping out so nice, so easy. Look at that. And then once again, I can keep it like this or I can go ahead and just separate it out so that I have two sets of wings. One will be lavender and one will be gold or I can do both lavender. Like I said, this is kind of the most challenging part is just to separate them out. But boy, oh boy, is it worth it look at how pretty those are and the beauty of the Rhenea foil paper is not only is it lovely but you can also curl the tips up or shape it any way you want and it's going to hold its shape so these really work wonderful with dies so the last one I'm going to do is it's a layered die so we're going to make some butterflies with our Rhenea foil paper and I'm going to show you several different ways that you can use your layered delicate dies with your foil paper. I brought in a piece of cardstock in lavender to create some of these butterflies. But I'm using a die by Cherry Lynn Designs again. These are called Small Exotic Butterfly Number no. 2 with Angel Wings. So we have these beautiful die cuts. And then what's interesting is we have the base and they're half. And the reason why they're only half is because we're going to fold the paper in half to create a whole butterfly. And our end result will look like this. I'll pull off one that I did in cardstock. So this is the cardstock, and then this is the matching one, okay? So let me go ahead and create three more bases with our lovely turquoise paper. So I'm going to fold it in half like so. Now, I have to tell you, I really like creating these butterfly bases with the Rhenea foil paper because it holds its shape and it just cuts nicer. The cardstock, I had to pull out my bone file and it still kept popping up and it was hard to hold down its shape and you don't want this to slide off because you're cutting half of a butterfly. And then from here, you're just going to lay them out. Make sure that you can see the crease still. You don't want to cut entirely. You want you don't you need to see that crease. If you don't see that crease, you are going to end up cutting entirely through and you're just going to be left with half a butterfly. Also, make sure that you cut on the crease. Now, this is the one of we have to be careful that it doesn't wiggle too much when we put this down as well. Like this one moves a little bit too far over. So all right, I'm gonna go ahead and run this through. And I'm gonna go back through, and I'm just gonna do it one more time. The colors that I'm using today are really beautiful pastels that Rhenea Foil Paper has out. Uh, they're perfect for spring, for Mother's Day, and these butterflies, oh, they're so versatile, and they're gonna be just gorgeous on anything. Okay, so as you can see, that one didn't cut all the way through, so we're going to have to rerun that one. But when you open it up, 
you will be left with a base butterfly like so. So pretty, right? And since Rania picks up everything, it also picked up the texture um, and the design from my plate, which is, that doesn't bother me. I'm okay with that. So let me take this one off and then we're going to just rerun this one up here. I'll do that later off screen. And so let me show you a couple different ways that you can assemble types, these types of butterflies. I'll set this aside. Okay, so what I can do is I'm going to start with this set right here. And I have cut out I have die cut out three bases and three butterflies. And again, I did the same technique in which I doubled this up. And so I have really pretty bases. So what you could do is you could layer them on, you know, tone on tone, uh, cardstock on cardstock, or you can mix it up, mix up the colors and mix up your papers, which is what I'm going to do. I think it adds some beautiful interest. So the first one that I'm going to do is I am going to just move these around like so. And I'm going to put down first my cardstock on top of my Rhenea foiled paper in jade and this is actually the starburst i use the starburst under it and then you're just left with that that's really pretty right and then let me layer the foil paper on top of the cardstock so i have a beautiful shiny overlay and then you get that isn't that pretty so nice, right? And then finally, we will layer the cardstock, I mean, the two foiled papers together to create one shiny butterfly, like so. So I have the other ones as well. So let me just set these out. Our next batch is this one. I think this is the one that I'm missing a base on. So I will pull this base off and set it aside. But again, you know, you can layer on, just mix up your papers to cr create a variety of beautiful butterflies and by doing so you will create some lovely interest on your project if you're using a multitude of butterflies and you know you can you can run this through um, like your sticker maker and and really flatten it all out or I like to kind of fluff it up a little bit and uh, you know do something like that on my projects and then we have of course this one, which is just the basic cardstock over the jade. And then from here, let's go ahead and do the last bit. You know, you're seeing the variety that you have with this and so pretty. All right. So let's do for this one, let's do a gold back on this with um, this beautiful turquoise overlay. 
how pretty and you know these are very delicate dies and they held up lovely so there's that one and then let's do on this one this wonderful jade with the beautiful lavender cardstock there's that one and then let's do a gold over the wonderful lavender cardstock. Fingers are sticky. Glue dots would work wonderfully on this as well. Okay, so I hope that this gives you some ideas on using your delicate dies with the foil paper. You don't have to be scared of it. It really does run through lovely and it really, I mean, it, it rarely, rarely rips and your results are stunning, especially if you have some layering dies like these. And again, I'm going to try to find you everything you need, um, or if you want anything in this video, I'm, I'm going to try to find it for you and leave it in the description box down below. Make sure that you head on over to the Rania blog and website for, um, ideas and inspiration as well as checking out their store and their backstory also you can find me on youtube under bets golden b-e-t-z golden g-o-l-d-e-n my website is the same it's www.betsgolden.com and you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter under Bets Golden as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and please, please, please share it. That would be awesome. If you haven't subscribed to the Rania Foiled Paper channel, I hope that you do so. Until next time, happy crafting.